FIFA 22 has been out for quite a few months now, and although it's still a while till the next FIFA comes out, I think it would be good to have a look at a few things that should get added to FIFA 23 career mode. The ones I'm listing in this video aren't specifically about creator club, so let me know in the comments if you want to see another video with things that should be in a creator club mode in the next FIFA. If you go in and enjoy the video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel to help me get to 10,000 subscribers. Now let's get into the video. First off, I would love to see career mode actually tracking every player's career moves. So with this I mean that when you are looking at new players to sign or you are looking at your current squad players, you can actually see the clubs your player has played for in the past. So even when you are in the 10th season of career mode, I think it would be cool if you could check where the player moved to in the past 10 seasons in career mode, but of course also where he moved to in real life before the start of the career mode. This could help you determine whether a certain player is realistic to sign or not. For example, if he played for your club's rival in the past but you didn't know, then it would be quite handy to have this option so that you do know about this and you can sign a different player who didn't play for your rivals. Of course, in addition to this, we have a highly requested feature that people have been wanting to see in career mode for a good few years now, and that is to see the player's career stats. EA have added a bit of this into FIFA 22, for example when one of your players has beaten the club's record of the most goals at the club. But let's be honest, that's not really enough. I would like to see the amount of goals and assists from each player for each season they have played in career mode, or even at the previous seasons from each player in real life. I don't think it would be that difficult to track these stats and I think it would be really cool to see if one of your players has just scored his 100th goal in his career or for your club. Something that could be combined with the previous feature are fun facts, which basically entails that when you go to one of your players in the squad hub that you get to see a small fun fact about that player. So basically when my striker is close to becoming the club's top goal scorer in this career mode then it shows that that player is close to breaking this record. Or when your central midfielder has reached 100 goals in his career, you can see that in the fun fact section as well. Other examples of fun facts are when your centre back has picked up 50 yellow cards in his career, or your goalkeeper has kept 50 clean sheets in his career, or maybe your youth academy graduate who just became the youngest goalscorer in the club's history. There are so many other fun facts you can think of, and that would help make career mode more fun, and possibly also help you play the game longer as you will probably continue the save till your striker becomes the club's top goalscorer or when your attacking midfielder is close to breaking the record for most assists in your league for example. To add a bit more realism to career mode or to make it feel like real life a bit more, having social media in career mode could help a lot. This was already in the journey a couple of FIFAs ago as you saw real journalists and analysts talk about you, now you are performing. It would be a great addition to regular career mode if this got added and you get to see what news journalists have, what analysts say about you and your plays now your fans or fan groups think you have performed in the last match. And these journalists and analysts don't even have to be real people for all I care. Of course it would be better if they were real people, but at least having this option would be great in my opinion. One feature I really, really want to see in the next FIFA are real managers. I think having these random generic managers that we currently have are just so boring. There's no further background information about the manager you just created, and I think when you are able to use real managers that it adds a big layer of new depth to career mode. Imagine having Eric Ten Hag as your manager, or Mauricio Pochettino, or maybe even footballing legends who became managers not long ago, such as Patrick Vieira, Xavi, or Wayne Rooney. Okay, these managers do currently manage a club in real life, so it might be difficult to use them at other clubs before starting a save, but having real managers who don't have a club currently could also be an option. Think of Claudio Ranieri, who you can try and create another Leicester City scenario with, or Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, Joachim Löw, Zinedine Zidane, Andrea Pirlo, Ronald Koeman, Gattuso or Marcelo Bielsa. So many great options of managers to use and so many great storylines you can think of during your career mode as well. For example, make another Italian team the new Juventus with Andrea Pirlo or get revenge on Manchester United with Ole Gunnar Solskjaer managing another Premier League club. A couple of FIFAs ago there were random mini challenges in the kickoff mode where you had to reenact a match in real life or change what happened in a certain match. For example, when a random club lost 2-0 to the fierce rivals in real life, EA created a mini challenge for you to try and help the losing team coming back from 2-0 by doing that from the minute the rival scored the second goal in real life. So when the rival scored the 2-0 in real life in the 65th minute, you can now try and help the losing team by scoring at least 2 more goals in the last 25 minutes of the game within that FIFA. There were quite a few of these challenges I remember and EA did update them quite regularly. I would love to see challenges for career mode in FIFA 23 as well. So for example, Kreut de Voorf are currently dead last in the Bundesliga with just 14 points and 8 games left. Now if there was a challenge to do in career mode, 
that would mean that you could load the exact league table from real life within that queer mode save, preferably with the same players that's like top goal scorers as well. Then you would have to play the last 8 games and try and keep Kreutel Fuhr in the Bundesliga. And these challenges could also apply to teams that are close to winning the league or want to qualify for the Champions League for example. Once again, if these are added then it would add so much more variety and depth to career mode. Another feature that was in previous FIFAs is the option to export your team. You could basically save your team so that you could play with it in kickoff against your friends. It would be so cool if you could once again export your career mode team, play with them against your friends in kickoff or in online friendlies, or even have the option to share it with other people online. This would also add so much variety to career mode as you could start off with a fun team that someone else has created, or you could try and save a team from relegation as someone else really struggled with their team. Of course, if you share your career mode with other people, it won't affect your own career mode save, but it could be cool to see what someone else can do with your team or with your players. We all know dynamic potential has been in the game for a couple of years now, but it's still relatively limited, I would say. Currently only your own team and players are able to have dynamic potential and it is fun as you can turn any player into a world class star. But this could also be extended by literally having every team in career mode having dynamic potential. So when a big team does terrible in a season that their best players potentials go down quite a bit which will have impact on the highest rating the players will achieve in their career in this save. And of course if a lower rated team does very well in the league then I would love to see some of their best players turn into amazing players as well. Just think about Leicester's scenario with the likes of Jamie Vardy, Riyad Mahrez and N'Golo Kante after they won the Premier League in real life. This would make every career mode save very unique in its own way. Something I've been hammering on for years now are storylines. We need more storylines in career mode. Career mode in itself is quite blank and doesn't really go in depth on players and teams and how their careers turn out. For example, I signed Jan Vita up in my St. Pauli career mode in the third season or so. He was the golden child of Hamburg and made a move very early on to Bayern Munich. He didn't get any playing time, got put in the B team of Bayern and his potential dropped. Then I signed him at St. Pauli, who are the rivals of Hamburg and tried to revive his career. Unfortunately, he wasn't that good for me, so I sold him to Mainz later on. And in just that little story alone, there are plenty of stories and storylines that could have been in a new section in career mode or could have been mentioned by Arp himself by moving to the rivals of his first professional club, Hamburg. You have the story of Arp finally getting a new club where he will get more playing time and might revive his career. You have the story of Arp moving to Hamburg's rival and the story of Arp also not succeeding at St. Pauli. There's no excitement about these things at all within career mode itself currently. You just have to think of these storylines in your own mind which of course would be a lot better and a lot more fun if these were shown unnoticed in career mode itself. Now the last thing that I would love to see in FIFA 23 is the option to select your own set piece takers and captains. Whenever you take your main captain out of the starting eleven, it automatically makes someone else in the team the captain without it being your decision. The same goes for the free kick and corner takers. It's something small but I would love to have the option to select the first, second, third and maybe even fourth captain and set piece takers. This will make sure the roles get assigned to the players you want and not just any random youth player. So these were 10 features I really really hope will be added in FIFA 23 career mode. We'll probably get disappointed again but if you could like this video to try and hopefully reach someone at EA then that would be great. Let me know in the comments what features you would love to see in the next FIFA and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to not miss any other FIFA 23 wishlist videos and I will see you next time.